All right. So today we have some new stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and get us warmed up on our other our blending board super quick. We're going to get through that. We're going to do a very quick sand tray and then we will. It always jumps to the end here. So let's see if it does it today. It's still thinking. Sorry, folks. Bird, turn around. Bird, turn around. Turn all your, your body all the way around for me. Thank you. All right. So I will turn on my almighty screen and we will get going. All right. See if we can get this. Okay. Sounds, please. Duh. 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 Okay, make sure that's that F sound, right? Run. Yeah, there you go. Bird, turn around. Go. Ah. Okay, you guys are not being loud enough. You're in here with me. I should hear you. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ra. 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 Hands up again. Gl. Dr. Mr. Finn. Mr. Finn, you have to look at them. You have to look up here to know what the sounds are. Oh, now careful. I heard a r on the end, the end of that one. Is there an R there? It's hard without the r. Pr. Pr. Milk. Oh, milk. Oh, oh, Miss Evie, eyes have to be up here if you're going to get this, if you're going to hear the sound, if you're going to see what sound to make. Um, oh, now this one makes three sounds, right? It makes duh, like a D, id, and, and the T sound. Very good. Unk, ung, e, oh good. O, o, now remember that A may, doesn't make a sound, right? Because it's, the, it's our battle team. All right, oh, gotta move my people out of the way here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, eh? Wes, real word or not a real word? Oh, most of my friends here do not think it's a real word. Uh, Miss Lila, Miss uh, Astria, what does wisp mean? Do you know what wisp means? Wisp means I'm like wisping my eggs. Oh, that's close. That's whisk with a S K in it. But it is a real word. You have a wisp of hair in your eye or on your forehead. A wisp just means a little of something. So that was a good try though. Here we go. St. A. Mm. Stump. Real word? Yeah. Yep. Yes. What is a stump, Mr. August? It's the remaining, the remaining part of the, the bottom of the tree, right? Here we go. Tr. E. O. Trill. Anybody think a real word? Not a real word. Miss Eddie, put that marker away. That marker does not need to be out during OG at all. Put it all the way in. What do you think, Mr. Charlie Carr? What do you think what, if a trill? You're not sure, but it sounds like a real word? Yeah, it is a real word. So a trill is a high noise. That So like a bird can make a trill. It means usually a couple notes that are very high. All right, squa. Eh, mm, squint. Real word? Ah, oh, Lennox, what do you think it is? Squint. Yeah, when you put your eyes really closed because it's too bright outside, right? All that snow. Here we go. Blah, ang, 
blank. Miss Bird, turn your body around. Thank you. What do you think, Sunny? Real word? What does it mean? A blank paper. There's nothing on it, right? Blank means nothing on it. Very good. How about pull a mm, plump? Miss Abby, I need your eyes up here. This is what I need you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go over and turn your desk around, but I need your hands out of your desk and on top of your desk, please. Thank you. All right. What do you think, uh, Miss Bird? What plump mean? Mm, pump. This is plump. You pump water with a, with no L, but plump. What do you think, Miss Sunny? Plump. You fall? Hmm. What do you think, Lennox? Short. Um, okay, something could be short, but plump means it's got a lot of air, it's it's wide, right? So you plump up a um Mr. Not, not max pop. I want hands out of the sand. I know it's really hard, but try. All right. Or uh, I passed them out because you guys were, it took for a while for you guys to get here, but I don't want you to play with it yet. Plump means to, like you plump up your, um, your pillow, right? You make it more fluffy, make it bigger, make it rounder. Plump. All right. Sm, eh, ol, snow. Is that a word? Hmm, I'm getting thumbs down. How about what do you think, Mr. Sawyer? Is smell a word? Hmm, not sure. No, it is not. You guys were right. Not a word. P A H Patch. Real word? Yes. Like something you can patch up your clothes or you have a patch of um, something in your garden or your yard. Sw e sh swish. Real word? Oh, got some, I'm not sure. Swish. Yeah, Astrid is not sure. Astrid doesn't think so. Who thinks that it is a word? That's what you think swish is. You move liquid around, right? So when you go to the dentist, don't they tell you to swish after, you know, like you give you a little stuff and they tell you to swish it around. All right, bull, ah, uh, okay. Everybody needs to stop with the sand. Seriously, you have, no, I don't want any fingers in the sand right now. Evie, no fingers in the sand. Thank you. All right, bull, because you're not paying any attention to what's going on here. All right, I'm going to have, oh, I'm just going to borrow it back. Because you can't handle it. In the back, more than once. In the back, just to help you. I'm going to put it right here, okay? You can grab it, and it's fine. All right. My mistake for thinking you guys could handle it. Blong, blong. Is that a real word? Nope. Hmm. I've got. So I've got. Oh, I'm looking for thumbs up or down. Up or down. Real word. Hmm. Got lots of different hands. Blong. What do you think? Real word. It is not. It is a. It is a made up word. A blong. Yeah. This one is definitely not. All right. How about this one? Str. Stripe, stripe, is that a real word? Yes, very good. How about, all right, that was our last one. All right, now for the sand. Go ahead and pull your sand up. I'm gonna use my dock camera. There we go. All right, there we go. We got lots of sounds. Ms. Harrison can get her list out so she doesn't overdo it. All right. Here we go. First sound. Shh. S H says shh. Very good. All right. Uh, to uh, split your sand. Oh. Very good. When do we use the L L? When do I know to use the L L? Lennox. At the end of the word, and after we have a short vowel, right? Very good, like pull or stall, one of those words. Very good. All right, uh, split it into three. Here we go. F, F, 
says pH says very good. My sand is not all centered today. Sorry, friends. Not the best example here. All right. Here we go. Next one. Um, yeah. Okay, make sure your line goes that crosses that Y, right? Buh. Buh. Very good. Mmm. M says mmm. G. G says G. G says G. Here's our G. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three sections. Here we go. O. O says O. O consonant E says O. O A says O. Woo. Sorry, I didn't have enough room for O consonant E, did I? Uh, oh, this is for oh, sound O, O, A. Yep. Ah, okay. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. Uh, go ahead and uh, split your sand. Duh. Oh, I didn't trick you. Very good. D and E, D. Very good. All right, so I'm not probably not going to get you this time either. Go ahead and split. Very good. T says E D also says at the end of a word when it ends with a consonant that makes a sound. All right, here we go. Ah. U says ah. Very good. All right. Can't split um, three again? Three sections? E. E, e, e. e consonant magic E says E. A says E. Very good. Three types of E. Very nice. One more. All right. Mm -hmm. It's going to have three sections again. All right. And it is A. A says A. A consonant E. And then, uh oh, today's. I tricked you. A I. That's what today, today's is. A I is our vowel team for the sound of. A. You guys wouldn't have known that one. I tricked you on that last one. All right, go ahead and put that sand away for a moment. Or actually, for good. Go ahead and put it inside your bag so it does not tempt you. All right. Now, we're going to move on to today's rules. Today's routine. If they've already given you a hint, is AI. So AI is another vowel team that has the second letter is silent and the first vowel says its name, AI. So I'm going to show you. So one of my favorite books has an AI in it. Rainbow. So A saying its name again, Rainbow. So Rainbow Fish. I don't know if you guys remember this book. Guys, um, from the lower grades, you know, you have that rainbow fish, and he has those beautiful scales, but he's kind of um, selfish, isn't he? He's all about how pretty he is, and then when he, um, when he loses all of his friends, he feels sorry for himself, right? And he goes and sees the octopus, and the octopus kind of gives him a hint that maybe he should be a little more kind and share, right? So then he starts giving away his scales and he gives his scales away until everybody gets one. And then he finds out that everybody's happy and is he happier than when he had all the shiny scales himself? Yes, because he made him, he shared and he um, showed them that he cared about them and not just about himself. And my... 
Well, there is that. If, he, if it was a real fish, he'd have a problem with the ass of both. All right, and then my object for today um, is this little guy, and it's but it's this part of him, which is his mm, tail. Very good tail. How do you think I spell tail? Based on our rule this week, Bird, what do you think? Very good. T A I L. So tail. We have a lot of words that um, we have for tail. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to give this to um, some of you who are going to get this as a practice for your um, in a practice for your fluency. Um, some of the rest of you are going to get a different thing to read, but I want to see if we can find some as we go through. This is called the beach. Do not wait. On the next sunny day, go to a beach. The beach could be at the lake or the sea. There are many ways to spend a day at the beach. If you want to relax, set up a chair and read. You could read an essay or a novel. It can be good just to feel the wind in your hair and the sand beneath your feet. Please be careful not to fall asleep in the sun and always have sunscreen on. All right, so this one also has a lot of other bell teams in it that you might recognize. They have a lot of EA on there as well. So did anybody see any words that have AI make the long A sound in that first paragraph? I'm not going to read the, oh, you guys can't see very well, can you? Let me make it a little bigger. My friends at home can see probably better than we can. <laughs> All right, Mr. Sawyer, I see your hand up. Can you tell me a word you see in that first paragraph that has an AI? No? You decided no? All right, you're just stretching? I okay. was bouncing my hand. You were bouncing, bouncing your hand. Okay, Max Fox, give it a hair. Hair, very good. The wind in your, oh, hair. Very good. Mr. Max Eastberg. Wait. Very good. Anybody see another one? I think there's one more hiding in there. August, do you see one? Okay, well, that's not the good time to do that, just like it wasn't for my other friend, huh? Lennox, what do you see? Chair. Chair. You're very good at this. All right. Uh oh, hold on. I'm gonna make sure my friend Charlie gets in here. All right, go ahead, Mr. Max Fox. Do you see another one? Say it again. Tall. Tall. Well, so again, we're looking for AI. We're looking for AI. So we had a lot of EAs. We had EA in beach and in sea and beneath. Oh, we can't see because there's, oh my goodness. There we go. How's that? <laughs> so there is a lot of EA ones in here as well. So my friends that are, are going to be asked to look at this and read it and practice for their fluency this week, make sure you are looking for all of those vowel teams because there's some vowel teams we haven't even gone over yet because there's a lot of EEs in there as well. All right. So here we have, again, here's our AI that we're doing for us. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to pull out, what did I have? Oh boy. All right. All right. See if you can come up with any AI words from our magic square. Okay, so there's ones underneath it, but they just are, they're longer words you can't use for the actual magic square. So just ignore all these down here. All right, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and stick to, if we can, words that are next to each other. Let's not skip any because that's when we end up with other words that don't sound or say the same thing. Now you'll notice there is an A here. That A is going to be going ahead and saying um, either A or A. It can say either one, but we're focusing mostly on the AI, making using that vowel team. So every word needs to have AI, but it might also have an A. I'll give you a hint. We can make some other words in there. All right. I gave you lots of times. I have lots of hands up. That's good. All right, Evie. Oh, it has to have AI in it, I'm afraid. Ah, gasp, gasp and gasp. Very good. All right, I'm going to write down the ones with AI since that's our theme. Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox. I, 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 
Okay, but we have to have ones with AI in it. So I'm not going to write down gas. Uh, uh, um, well, AST, you mean? Well, we need ASK. AST isn't a word on its own. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Finn. Okay, let's just do one at a time for now, okay? Hold on. We are doing good. All right, Astria, what do you see? Pain. Say it again. Pain. Pain. Good. Mr. Sawyer. Nail. Nail. Yep. Very good. We got that one right here, Mr. Charlie. Stain. St uh, stain with an N. Stain. Good one. All right, Sunny. Hail. 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 No, hail. So you have a sentence, Sunny. Tail. That's what I thought. All right. Tail. I mean, after eventually. Gabe. Say uh, Lane. Um, so, um, all right. We'll go over that thing, uh, word later. Um, you have Charlie. So we're going to go with words that have a long A sound. They have to have that AI in it. Okay. So there are some words we can actually add in that have the AI that also have the A, but they're a little bit bigger words. Mr. Max Huber? Pale. Pale. Like ha what, what kind of pale? Do you know? Can you do that sentence? It's a pale like if you had a, you went to the beach and you put sand in the pail. This isn't like a pale, like Mrs. Harrison, is, uh, her skin is Pale, that's P-A-L-E. Mr. Lennox, do you see another one? Sane, S-A-I-N. So there, so I'm gonna put it up in my little, so when I'm, Mrs. Harrison sometimes doesn't feel sane at the end of a Friday, it's actually S-A-N-E. So that's a hard one because it does have the right sound. It's just not spelled that way that we think it is. All right, Astria, do you see another one? Hail. Can you use it in a sentence for me? I ate kale um, for dinner. All right, so where, what, what letter is making the cuff sound? Is any of those letters making the cuff sound? No. Yes, ma'am. So that one, if there was a K, it would be kale. And so I do like kale, but it is one of our A magic E words. So, but no K in there. So we're sticking to those letters here. All right. I see some words. Oh, that one. Oh, that one I have to skip. That one wouldn't work. All right. Gabe, what do you think? Sail. So use a sentence for my friend. Very good. Excellent. Yes. So sail like on the boat. Very nice. Any others? Yeah. Um, and chair. chair. Is there a chair is what is a word, but is CH in there anywhere? No. No chair. All right. Very nice. All right. We are going to go ahead and do some dictation. So my friends that are at home, you're going to need your a, a, a piece of paper. This is your dictation page here. Um, I have too many people gone right now, Mr. August. So no, you're gonna have to wait. So because I just sent Finn and Charlie, I can only send two at a time. So here, my friends at home, here is your dictation. You can start getting that written down. Oh, you have to remember what. Oh, I'm gonna have it to the child that is on the um, remote. So here, um, what is the what is the heart? Where's the heart? Remember, we, we learned, we did learn it. It's been a long time now. Anybody remember? And yeah, you were here. Yes, we absolutely did. We absolutely did. When I tell you, you're going to be like, oh. Yeah, I remember. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. Well, when I knew it, you're going to go, oh. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. We've got it this year. All right. Come on. All right. So go ahead and put your name at the top. I did get bird. Thank you. All right. Number one. Well, I don't believe I didn't hand it to anybody. Let's see. Make sure I, yeah, no, it's mine just right here. There we go. Number one. This one's tricky, but let's see if we can do it. So you'll notice that this has two lines, so it's going to have a, it's going to be a blend. Black male. Listen, bull, ack, m, ale, o. Black male. All right, try it out. Try it. Bull, ack, m, Ale or a ol mac blackmail. I won't blackmail my sister by um, telling her secret. Blackmail, Mr. August is your word. Blackmail. So think about sounds, Mr. Charlie Card. You get it? Okay. What do you think my blend is at the beginning? What do you think my first two letters are? B L. Then what do you think comes next, Mr. Max Fox? A. 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 This is going to be tricky. It's actually two letters to make one sound. I don't know. C K. C K. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Charlie. Nice job. And then male, black male. So it's two syllables, black male. It is also what we call a compound word, right? So it's two words that make sense by themselves. Put it together. Sonny, what comes next? M and then A I. So it's like A I and then L, black male. Blackmail to tell somebody that they need to do something or give you something, or you're going to tell their secret. Blackmail. All right. Number two, Mr. Sawyer, are you writing these down? Mr. Sawyer, you should be writing them down. Okay. Number two, explain. I want to explain my situation. Explain. So think about X, pull. A -n. explain. All right, Gabe, what do you think? Mm -hmm. E X P L not A N almost A I N. Very good. Using our A I explain. There's our spell team, spell team for both words. Explain. All right, number three, braid. I will braid my hair before I go to sleep. Well, not my hair. I'll braid Sunny's hair before she goes to sleep. Yes, I see that. Braid. Brr aid. So, Miss, um, both of you are going to have to make up our, our, our other words that we've already done. Braid. What do you think, Gabby? B R A I. And then our D, right? Braid. So, my friends who sometimes have those backwards letters, double check that you've got your B. And your D, the right direction. Braid. Make sure they're the right direction for me. There's our vowel team again. Number four. Hangnail. I hate it when I have a hangnail on my finger. So watch me point to the letters. H ang n ail. Okay, so there's a bunch of letters. On one of those lines, isn't there? Huh? Eng, n, a, u, hangnail, nail, hangnail. I know it's hard for me. All right. 
Anybody at home want to spell that one for me? Anybody? Charlie, Ruvayon, Rickley, go for it. H A N G N A I L. Very good. Hang. Now, why are A and G all in one line? Hang. What, what do we know about that, Miss Sunny? If it makes one sound, if it makes that that one sound together, ang, a n g, and then n a i l. There's our vowel team, hangnail. All right, number five, mislaid. M e s o a d. Mislaid. I mislaid my keys, and now I know have no idea where they are. Mislaid. Mm. Watch me again. Mm. E -s -o -a -d. Mislaid. All right, Charlie Carr, what do you think? M I S. M -I -S. Very good. Excellent. There's our L team. All right. My friends at home, everybody here is giving me grief about number six, about this heart. Let's see if anybody remembers the heart once I say the word. Here we go. Are you ready? Quaint. 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 I went to a quaint little bed and breakfast once in Santa Fe. Quaint. Quaint. A -nt. Quaint. All right, Sunny, you're ready to spell it for me? Q U, that's what goes inside the heart, right? Because Q and U are always together, they love each other. A I, good job. N T, there's our ending. Qu A -nt. Quaint. Quaint means. Um, how do, I, how do I explain that? A quaint, a quaint means just it's nice, nice and um, cute. Kind of idea. Quaint? Uh, like uh, all right. It means it means kind of cute or, or, or historical. It means it's small and just um, like usually when you say something's quaint when it's like old timey and kind of. Um, like a little, um, like a little shop that isn't like Walmart. Walmart would be the opposite of quaint. <laughs> All right, are you ready for number one? Here we go. Do not fail to paint the pail. I don't make these sentences up, folks. Do not fail to paint the pail. Pail. Oh, we talked about that. That's where, like, is that like a bucket? Do not fail to paint the pail. Do not fail to paint the pail. They were working really hard to see how many AI words they could get in that sentence. Do not fail to paint the pail. And then go through cups when you think you're done. Some of you are still marking off cu cups without doing it. Make sure you have your C, your capital. Make sure when you reread your U that all of the words are there. Some of you are still missing some words on our test. P punctuation. And S means spelling, right? Go double check. So cups. All right, what do I start with, Bird? Do. Do. How do I spell do? D, capital D. Capital D. Oh. oh. Do not. N O T. Fail. How do I spell fail, Mr. Finn? Um, F, -A -I -L. F A I L. Very good. Two. That's it's a red word. Because do because two there's three kind three different kinds of two aren't there so that was a red word to paint 
How do I spell paint, Mr. August? P-A-I-N-T, very good. The pail, Mr. Max Stiesberg. P-A-I-L, very good. And then what do I have to have at the end, Miss Eddie? Period, goes in my box, very good. He, then let's go ahead and go ahead and rewrite nice and neatly in case, especially in case you made a mistake. Hey, you know what some of us are still doing? Some of us are still making a capital P. Where does the P need to go? Below the line, otherwise it's a capital. Paint, do not feel this paint, the pale. Make sure both of those P's are below the line. Right, Mr. Finn? Both of your P's below the line for me? Awesome. Did you rewrite it for me a second time? Nice and neatly so I can see it all? All right, I'm not sure. Number two, the maid paid for the braid. Again, I did not make this up. The maid paid for the braid. Yeah. Sunny, did you pay for the braid? Yeah. <laughs> the maid, in other words, the, the girl, maid in this case is a girl not made as in that you make something the maid paid yep for the braid the 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 braid sorry the maid paid for the braid braid like with your hair the maid paid for the braid I maybe should have just tried to make a sentence up instead of taking theirs. That one's kind of silly, huh? Go through caps, make sure. Do you have your capital? Check for your C, check for your U, check for your P, make sure you have punctuation and check every word to make sure it's spelled correctly. The maid paid for the braid. All right, let's see. What am I gonna, uh, how am I, Gabe, how am I gonna spell the first word? Yep. Capital T. And then very good. Thank you. The maid. What do you think, Sonny? M-A-I-D. Good guess. All right, Mr. Sawyer. Paid. How am I gonna spell paid? The maid paid. P A I D. Very good. P A I D. Make sure your D is going in the right direction. Paid for F O R the B H E braid. Braid. What do you think? We already did this one, didn't we? What is it, Sonny? B R A I N D. Braid. Very nice. Then please rewrite it. Make sure you have it. All right, we did good, my friends. All right, so what I'm going to ask for today, um, I am going to be passing out for um, to our fluency um, the page that I kind of just talked about and showed you the one about the beach. Um, so I'm going to um, give that to some people. And then I have a nice little book that I'm gonna, okay, where did I just put them all? Um, so I'm gonna put this one up so that my friends at home can practice it a couple of times. Yes. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of thing, more things with my next 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to um, meet with my small group. So I'm gonna, um, so Miss um, Astria, your job is going to be re to read this um, a couple of times through. Um, and I'm going to try to make um, it easier to see. Oh, this is fun. Um, and then, Mr. Charlie, I'm going to have you hold on for a bit um, and um, chat with you with a small group for a moment. Um, so She's going to chat with me. Okay. That's fine. That's my sister. It's not a big deal. It's fine. All right. Charlie, is that okay? Are you guys okay with that? Okay. All right, um, Miss Astria, can you listen to it? Can you read through that a couple of times? 
And then I'm going to have you use the remainder of your time to work on your um, to get your blue and green paragraphs done. All right. Are you, how are you doing on those, Miss Astria? Do you have quite a few of those? Okay, you're doing good on those. Are you finished the green paragraph already? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, so um, so you'll read through this and then you'll have a little time to yourself. Um, I will go over this with you tomorrow, but I'm not gonna go right through today. Everybody else, um, I have my small group that's um, Charlie V and Sawyer. So Sawyer, stay with me. Um, and Abby and Bird. And I'm going to be with you guys. I have a little book that I'm going to ask you to read. When you're not working with me, when you're not working with me, I'm going to have you read The Beach. Give yourself a couple of times. It's a fluency practice. And then I'm going to have you um, work on your paragraphs, your blue and your green paragraphs. All right. So I hope my friends here, um, after you're reading for me, um, Charlie and Sawyer, just wait for a second. I'll be back. So then maybe um, you should, um, you could use, um, I feel like, see if I could that would be a great, I, and look for capitals and periods and those I kind of think things. I feel like it's what's wrong on the blue. I think like they live on the bottom of the rainforest. Oh. That kind of makes sense. So maybe you should say floor of the rainforest instead. That would work. All right. Okay. So, you get one of these? You oh, get one of these? I have, I have the same one for second grade. Oh, yeah. Well, guess what it's got in it today? AI, AI. it does. All right. Yes. Miss so Astria, great. are you good? No. <laughs> Miss Astria, are you all done with this? Okay. So, I'm going to let you go. And Miss Astria and Sawyer and Charlie, stick with me. I'm going to show you. So, all right. I'm going to turn it off my. Not everybody has to keep hear me read everything. All right. Okay. Bye, Miss Astria. Go work on your on your stuff. All right, Mr. Sawyer, are you ready? Can you see this well enough, Charlie? Can you see this well enough? Okay. So tomorrow I will have a copy of this on your assignment so that you can practice reading it. Okay, Sawyer. Are you hearing me? Sawyer, Sawyer. So tomorrow, I don't have a copy on today's assignment, but tomorrow I will, all right? So but let's. So you're just gonna have to read it off the screen for the moment. So the name of this is Sam Rides the Subway Train. All right, so what I want you to choose, do, Mr. Great. Miss, Mr. Charlie and Mr. Sawyer, I'm gonna have you read this out loud to yourself. All right, so tell me when you're done with those two pages. Give me a thumbs up when you're done. Sawyer, you have to read the pages, honey bun. So read it out loud, Sawyer. I should see your mouth moving. That was awfully fast. Well, yeah, that's okay. Next, you know, yes, Max. Your OG folder, like the other one, where the other one should be. Remember the other one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here's the next two pages. 
Go ahead and read those out loud to yourself. Okay, did you put, remember those things we wrote down today? Did any of those things help you? Okay, so the behavioral one? Mm -hmm. So which frog are you again? Water holding. So remember it digs, it digs a hole mm -hmm. and hibernates. Is that a behavior? Mm -hmm. Do you have that? I said, I said it digs, it digs underground to not die out during the dry season. Very good. Okay, then, and then, not to now you need another sentence about how that helps it survive. And I can't think You don't have to. You just need at least one. Remember, we only needed one. one. Okay, did you explain? Okay, but you, well, did you explain? How it okay, that's what your next sentence is going to be. How does digging under the ground help it? Well, you said where you just said how it helps to keep it from getting dry, right? But what else can so by being in there until it comes out? Well, not just from predators, from why does it need a why does it need to hibernate? Second. Right. And why does it, but why is drying out a problem? Why? What about, what about its skin? Because you can't get in the water to Well, okay. So think about what do all frogs have to have? Why? Yep. Because they do what? Through their skin. They also breathe. Yep, they also have lungs. So, what can you do? So can you add, can you talk about how they have to have their? Do you, do what? All right, sorry. Let me do one more. Sorry, I'm trying to do be two people at once. Here's the next two pages. Sorry, read aloud. Read aloud to yourself. Thank you for being patient. Why do we have separate people? Because. Why is it for the? Uh, These are notes. Those are notes. You write like notes and stuff. Right. Whatever. So what I want you to do is I want you to get the book. So what I want you to do, I want you to go get a pencil and I want you to put your A I word. I have the exact same book from last year. Do you? Yeah. Did you circle all the A I words? No, we don't want A I last year. Okay. Thank you. Not what? Like AI I okay. Shh. How's it going, August? Where's your notes, buddy? I'm wondering where your notes are. So, Charlie, talk about how he's got this helps him because he, he gets he can stay he can keep from drying up. So that I know. All right. Did you guys finish? You guys got finished? Okay, good job. All right, my friends. So what I'm going to have you do is, Mr. Sawyer, I'm going to have you go work on your paragraph, on your your um, colored painted essay. Okay, Mr. Sawyer, you go work for the next 10 minutes on that. And Mr. Charlie, you're doing great on that. So if um, you have anything to add to your blue or your green section, you can work on that for about five minutes. Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. Bye. All right. Okay. Perfect, Charlie. Thank you. Have a good time.